We're going to start our next activity, which has a lot to do with what we've been talking about. During this activity, think about ways you can serve others. Our friend Patty is going to help us. I think you're going to really like her. Let's go back to the craft room. Hi, Patty! Hi, Patty! Hi, Payson and Brianna. We hear you have a fun activity for us. We get to tell stories with rocks. That sounds fun. I find rocks that tell the stories of Jesus. There are a lot of rocks that he made, enough for everyone. You know the story of Christmas when Jesus was born. Do you remember the story when Jesus rode a donkey into Jerusalem? The people celebrated him as their savior and king. Once he prayed in a garden, taking upon himself all our pain and sorrows so we can let them go. He willingly gave his life on the cross to rescue us and bring us home. And then Jesus came back to life. We will all live again because of him. Jesus loves children. Can you imagine what it would be like to give him a hug? That That's is really, really cool, cool. Patty. <laughs> Thank you. Now let's make some rock art together. Are you ready? Yeah. Mm -hmm. It's so easy to make just about any picture with only two rock art shapes, long rocks and circle rocks. Let's make a person. So we can use a long rock to be the body and a circle rock to be the head. My favorite is to use curved rocks because it shows emotion. Hmm. Let's tell the Bible story of a dad who ran to find Jesus to heal his very sick little girl. By the time they got to her home, she had died, but the Savior was still able to bring her back to life. So let's make a picture of that. Find the longest rock for the girl's bed. And then we'll find a tall rock to be the girl and lay her down in the bed and a circle rock for her head. And you might even add a pillow. And there she is. Now we need Jesus. So we will find a tall rock to be our savior. You could even use a curved rock if you wanted to. And a circle for his head and then maybe some legs so you can have him standing up or we'll have him kneel in this case. Hmm. And now let's give him an arm to reach out to the little girl. And here's my favorite part where he says, little girl, arise. And she does, she comes back to life. <laughs> so how did you do? Brianna, will you show us your picture? This is Jesus, and this is the little girl being killed. Oh, that's fantastic. It's neat, isn't it? <laughs> Payson, will you show us yours? Yeah, so this is Jesus, and uh, his hand is out because he's trying to heal her. Uh, and then uh, she, um, her head goes off her pillow, and she is healed. Your rock art looks great. You know, it would make a special present for someone you love. Every time you go outside, look for long rocks and circle rocks to add to your collection. Invite your whole family to look for rocks with you. And soon, you'll have enough rocks to tell a lot of stories. Remember, even the rocks can testify of Jesus if we help them. Wow, that was great, Patty. Thank you. You're welcome. You know, you can do this too. Just find some rocks and make your own picture. Here are some that other kids have made. Those are really cool. I can't wait to make my own. Well, it's time for our next guest. It's Sister Joy Dean Jones, the primary general president. Do you think she's here yet? Let's hurry. Bye, Bye Patty. Bye, guys.